Alright folks, so like I said, my videos are going to be backed up a bit. I don't know when this is going on. Hopefully you're watching it already, and if you are, that's good. Uh, this movie I saw the other day, and like I said, we're going with the Asian horror theme. So we got Vampire Girl versus Frankenstein Girl. Yeah, what can I say about this movie? It's off the wall bananas. Um, if you saw my first review, I did Tokyo Gore Police. I believe this is the same people. The, the same producers and writers and that I mean and if you saw Tokyo Gore Police it's madness and and this movie is just as crazy so the story is is that it's Valentine's Day um, at a local Japanese high school uh, there's this quiet girl that no one really knows uh, she gives a piece of chocolate to a guy he eats it uh, starts tripping out uh, she tells him, hey, I put my blood in it. And he's like, what the hell? Why'd you put your blood in it? And she's like, well, I'm a vampire. And if you want to become a full-blooded vampire, then you have to drink my blood. Uh, to make things even crazier, there's this other girl who's like the popular girl. Her dad's like the scientist at the school. And uh, when she dies, he does this crazy experiment on her and brings her back to life using the vampire girl's blood and he dips little yeah I'm not making this up he dips screws regular screws he dips them in her blood they come to life and now anything that he screws together comes to life that's the Frankenstein part so of course he brings his daughter back to life um, using different parts here and there this, this movie's bonkers and from the first scene uh, it's just blood and violence blood and violence and I forgot how fun this movie was uh, I seen it before but I thought I'd watch it again for this review and it's, it's extremely silly and extremely fun um, all I have to say though is that I don't know too much about Japanese high school life or culture or style but wow they really push the limits here uh, Anybody who's watching this for the first time might be offended. There's a group called the Cutting Wrist Club where basically all these girls do is cut their wrists and there's a competition for it. Uh, the next one is the, what was it called? It's called the the, um, the Too Dark Club or the Dark Club on campus and it's basically uh, Japanese girls who tan themselves so much they become black and, and this is really racist. Like one girl goes full on stereotypic black like she got big red lips a big nose she gets an afro and she's a fast runner as it's just out of control to see that because you know here in america like no one would want to see that or no one would want to put that on video um and yet here in japan they're running wild with it uh it's, it's really odd to see because i was blown away i was like wow that's racist and uh, i can take a joke but I, I thought that was too far but once again it's a different culture so they do things differently over there um i'm not saying it's good i'm just saying they don't understand you know black stereotypes like we understand them we take offense to them they don't or they feel like they're not offending anybody um but it's definitely wild uh, there's a lot of Japanese culture in, in these movies and they make them really, they make these movies really interesting to watch. Uh, there's even a Chinese teacher and, and the stereotype behind that is that the Chinese have very strong good lungs because they live like in a polluted area and this guy's like able to suck like car exhaust uh, fumes. I don't get it either. I, I just don't understand it but it wouldn't be the first time I saw a Japanese movie making fun of Chinese stereotypes. Um, but this movie, what, like I said, off the wall, bonkers, blood, uh, cheesy special effects, but it works out. It's a, it's a good story. It, it keeps me interested. I, I love all the, the goofy, quirky, bloody action. I love the gore. Um, I, I just like everything about it. Um, and like I said, it's made by the same guys who made Tokyo Gore Police, which I'm now thinking that I'm going to have to review all those movies that I've seen. Um, that kind of come from the same group of guys. Some of them aren't horror movies. Some of them are. Uh, some of them are just action movies with a lot of blood and violence. But isn't that the spirit of Halloween? Gore, blood, violence, spooky, scary kind of stuff. Yeah, you get me. Anyway, so I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm gonna be doing a review on those movies and then some other Japanese movies as well, and maybe some Korean and uh, Chinese movies if I can. But anyways, Vampire Girl versus Frankenstein Girl. If you can find it, pick it up, give it a watch, let me know what you like. And as always, people, uh, it's Halloween, 
if you got a top 10 that I should be watching, or you got a, a top 30, 31, whatever, uh, put it down in the comments. Let me know what's up. Throw me some uh, Japanese, uh, Asian horror films my way. I'm, I'm always down to see those ones. I think they're really interesting. Uh, but if you know the theme, if you know the, the directors and movies that I'm already picking, then you kind of know what's coming up. But uh, next time I got a go one, too. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it that much, but let's just say, uh, hey, it was scary when I saw it. All right. Thank you very much. Talk to you guys later.